Welcome to our e-newsletter this week. Thank you to all those who've helped make it so interesting, especially to Ali, who uh, scours all sorts of websites to find interesting things. I hope you've seen the uh, Bach deconstructed cello and then last week the Venus de Milo, if that's how you pronounce her. Very, very interesting. But also all the other things that people have put in, it's greatly appreciated by everybody. Today is the 75th anniversary of uh, VE Day, uh, an amazing day. Uh, we can all remember seeing uh, pictures and TV programs about the celebrations uh, all over uh, Britain and Ireland for uh, getting peace and security and above all for the concept of coming home. So many millions of people were just desperate to get home to normality, familiarity, to find that place of safety. And they would say, your home is your castle. And that's one of the themes for this week's readings, the idea that home is our place of safety. Uh, Psalm 34 verse, no, Psalm 31 verse 4 says, Lord, you are my castle. And just as a castle can be a place of safety, it can also be a place of imprisonment. And for some of us, sometimes we think, yes, it's safe being at home, but it also feels a bit like we're being imprisoned and we can't wait to get out. Uh, so what can we do about that? Now, here's another uh, verse from Scripture that should help us with this. It's from Psalm 90, verse 1, and it's from the Good News Version translates. It says, O oh Lord, you have always been our home. Oh Lord, you've always been at our home. And we can find our peace, security, and even freedom in the presence of the Lord, in worship, in prayer, and in uh, reading our Bibles. We can find that place of safety as well as the peace and freedom that we so long for. So until next week, keep safe and God bless. Bye-bye.